The last one I actually had was uh, Toronto. After we came back and won, mm. what caused you to go down to the fan, go down to the fans and start partying with them, hanging out with them? Does it just Cause we, right cause away? You're just, it was just we, like instinct, like I'm going down, or, or something. We, we were you? at the stadium, right, at the view, viewing viewing party. party. But um, yeah, we're we're curious. That, See, seeing those fans uh, with you, I was like. That is the coolest thing I could ever see. Uh, I remember one woman, you know, turning around to her husband saying, who does this? Yeah, <laughs> who does that? I, you know, and it's, it's the same answer that I'll give when we first started. Right. Is that, you know, I, I love people who love it. And there's uh, my, when I go to the ballpark every day, if we have someone who's coming and doing like a shadowing, if we have, you know, if we have an opportunity to do a, a podcast or, or something that's maybe not mainstream, yeah. you know, if, if a fan wants to visit, if we're across the street at the Hatback and somebody wants to stop and say hello, sit down, we'll talk to you about everything you want to know. It's, a, it's truly a fishbowl because I want the experience to be the way if I were a 14-year-old kid going to the ballpark or I were a 34-year-old season ticket holder, the way I would want to experience it in that moment. And, yeah. and, uh, and, and therefore, I tend to get pretty, you know, pretty close to it. And, and when, when I saw the, the fans and I was, you know, we, we were soaked with champagne, yeah. we were having a little bit of fun, and I rolled up there. And I, I remember this, and I, it's a quick story, but we had a, there was a fan wearing like a – a uh, like a Hawaiian shirt with all these different Mariner logos and flags, yep. and pennants, and uh, and I said that is a sweet shirt, <laughs> and uh, and he said I like yours better, and I, and I was wearing the October you did not jersey shirt. swap. Did you jersey so swap? I just ripped the shirt off, and I said there you go. And <laughs> Let's go. He, he said uh, he said he said no way, this is from the clubhouse celebration. I said yeah. yeah. And uh, wow. and then you know he said I got to give you mine. I said I'm good. <laughs> and uh, you know we we had some fun and, and went in. And that that fan sent me the shirt. He went out and had the shirt cleaned or got a new one. Oh wow! Sent it to me to the ballpark, and it, I thought it was just the coolest thing. Yeah. Well, were you were you shirtless then? After you gave him your shirt, you have an undershirt. No, on? I was still wearing the, the shirt that I, I just I, I was wearing a sweatshirt. God, okay, that, that okay. I had uh, <laughs> under it, but. Yeah, it was, and and you know, again, just something that that makes it real for the fan because that the whether it's that group in Toronto or it's the fans that come out here to T-Mobile, it's it's what's happened through the years. Just yeah. when you run into somebody on the, on the street, you know, give them a reason to love it more than they do. Mm -hmm. And 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 if you you know, if you're being honest, how would I like to experience it? And if I was a 14 year old kid and I was sitting down with a president of baseball ops or a major league manager, I want them to tell me how they do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, and I've said this publicly, we, we don't keep a secret. Yeah. We tell you what you we're going to do and then we go do it, you know, yeah. and, and sometimes we'll pull a fast one, yeah. <laughs> but for the most part, you know, we're just telling you what we want to do.